Hello there guys, welcome back to another epic inexorable maths video. In this video we're looking at something called the inverse Pythagorean theorem. Some people call it the reciprocal one. Probably makes more sense to call it the reciprocal one, but the inverse one sounds way cooler, so that's why I'm going to call it the inverse Pythagorean theorem. What does it say? Well, this is what it is. If we consider a normal Pythagorean right angle triangle, lovely, we all know it, we all love it, we know a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that's true, that's Pythagoras theorem. There's something else though. If we define this other length, h, the altitude of the triangle, to be the height from the hypotenuse perpendicularly up into the kind of right angle between a and b, if that makes sense. Really, what h is representing is a different way to measure the height of the triangle. And what we want to do is prove this really cool equation, which basically says that 1 over a squared plus 1 over b squared equals 1 over h squared. And this is true for any right angle triangle and where h is the altitude, h is that unit there, that measurement. So that's a really cool thing. We can, we can use this essentially to find the height of a right angle triangle if, if we want to find that sort of definition of the height. And obviously that's useful for lots of reasons. So uh, let's go and work towards getting that equation. That's the point of this video. Okay, cool. So first things first, we want to essentially come up with an expression, an equation that links A, B and H together. Well, we can express, here's the thing, we can express the area of this triangle in two different ways. So I'm going to write down the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is, of course, just going to be one half base times height, one half C times H, because C is the base and H is the height, if you sort of turn it a little bit. Now, many of you may be thinking, hold on, I thought the half base times height would be one half B times A, because B is the base and A is the height. And I would say you're completely correct, because they're both the area. Both of these represent the area of the triangle. They're the same. They're both one half base times height. Bearing in mind, this is a 90 degree angle. So it is really the perpendicular height. Okay, if C times H is B times A, so just times both sides by two, we can square both sides. We get CH squared equals BA squared, meaning that C squared times H squared is equal to b squared times a squared. Lovely, okay, well this is good. This is really good actually. Now, we don't really want c to be in this situation because that's fine, that's an equation, that's, well, we could be done, but we can get rid of c. We can get rid of c, guys, we can definitely do it. So, first of all, before we get rid of c, I'm gonna divide both sides by b squared times a squared. So I'm gonna get c squared h squared divided by b squared a squared equals one. That's nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite c squared in its uh, in its Pythagorean form. And c squared, of course, is just a squared plus b squared because of the normal Pythagoras' theorem. So c squared, h squared, that's just a squared plus b squared times h squared, gives you uh, divided by b squared, a squared, gives you 1. Lovely. Uh, we can expand out the brackets there. We end up with a squared, h squared plus b squared, h squared divided by b squared a squared equals 1. We're almost there, almost done. Bunch of messy algebra. We end up then with two fractions, a squared times h squared divided by b squared a squared plus b squared h squared divided by b squared a squared equals 1. So I've just split that into two fractions. They have the same denominator. That's fine. And then notice how the a squared will cancel out here and the b squareds will cancel out there. And what you end up with is the um, h squared over b squared plus h squared over a squared equals one. We can then divide both sides, of course, by h squared. We get one over b squared, it's one over a squared equals one over h squared. And uh, of course, just to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm gonna rewrite these terms the other way around. I get one over a squared, plus one over b squared, doesn't matter, but I just like it more, one over h squared. And this right here is the proof essentially of this weird inverse 
Pythagoras theorem, the reciprocal one. So instead of a squared plus b squared, it says 1 over a squared plus 1 over b squared equals 1 over h squared. Now once again, h is just going to be the altitude of the triangle, which is defined there to be this unit here, the perpendicular height. Obviously, you can see this is useful for lots and lots of reasons. It's a cool formula anyway. It's very cool. So <laughs> that's what I think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate it as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.